on the cool banks of Subarnarekha. As the river winds past the wooded hills, green valleys and villages in the shade of leafy trees, stands the town of Ghatshila, which was once the administrative capital of the kingdom of Talpu. History goes on to say that around 1300 AD, Dalpum was taken away by Raja Jagatdeo, who belonged to Thar in Malwa, Rajputana. He later assumed the name of Raja Jagannath Deo Dhabaldev. The rulers of Dalpum Raj were forerunners in India's freedom struggle. In 1767, Raja of Dalpum rebelled against the East India Company, which is called the Dalpum Uprising. With time, the region fell to the clutches of the British regime anyway. In 1910, the Bengal District Gazetteer, Mr. Lewis Sidney Stewart O'Malley, reported about the copper mines in Talpum Raj and gave a full account of copper in the region in the Journal of Asiatic Society of Bengal. The copper deposits of the area are part of the Singhum Copper Belt which comprises of a proterozoic volcano sedimentary rock that creates a shear zone known as Singhum Shear Zone. Prominent copper deposits of the belt are Chapri, Rakha, Surda, Kendadi, Pathagora, and Tamani. The area is dotted with remains of copper mining of different era. Indian Copper Corporation Limited was established by a British company in 1924 at Karshila, consisting of a cluster of underground copper mines, concentrator plants and smelter. On 25th September 1972, the Government of India nationalized the company under provisions of the Indian Copper Corporation Acquisition of Undertaking Act and merged it with Hindustan Copper Limited. Today, it falls in the state of Jharkhand under the jurisdiction of East Singhpum district. HCL is currently operating two underground copper mines, namely Surta and Kennedy, in this area along with the concentrator plant. Other facilities include smelting and refinery, allied mining and plant infrastructure. With the mission of making the locals self-reliant, HCL has taken up several projects in and around Karshila, like promoting preventive health care, making available safe drinking water, promoting education and employment, enhancing vocational skills and livelihood opportunities, including the recent launching program to promote microenterprise in various user segments of copper. Legend has it that traces of gold were found in the riverbed, hence the name Subarnarekha. The river has inspired art and literature for ages. At his home in Kartshila, Bibhuti Bhushan Bandupathai, the famous Bengali novelist, wrote Pothir Pachali, which was made into a historical film by the Oscar awardee, late Satyajit Ray. Bells toll at the Rankini Mandir under a soft saffron sky. The cool water of Subarnarekha ripples gently as the evening breeze soothes the ancient Precambrian rocks. Welcome to Ghatshila on the cool banks of Subarnarekha. <laughs>